Good morning, and we've got the Silverado in the garage, and we're looking at a leaky rear sliding window, 2019 to 2022. This one is a 2020, and we have noticed water coming in the rear, down the glass, going into the lower back there, and creating a sparking and smoldering situation. We pulled her in next to the van RV6A. She's getting close. She's getting close. So what's really going on is this plastic that goes across here will have a crack in it somewhere in this area here. And we feel the body flexes somehow. And this is fixed and glued. That's fixed and glued. And there's some movement in here repeatedly. And there is a possibility my son might be rough on this thing. But it'll be cracked in here. It'll be leaking down. And the solution is to remove this whole piece. The whole thing comes off in one deal after you take it apart from the inside. And you'll, we'll be doing a big bead of silicone all the way across here. We're going to take the headliner apart from the inside. should pull the seats and everything too. And we pre-bought the clips, little clips that go in. And they're real easy to snap. And you just get some new ones from the dealership. Pop them in, she'll go back together real good. So our leak was coming down the glass. And it was smoldering away in there. And this is an electric heated sliding window. Um, honestly, this truck is more complicated than it needs to be. But it is spectacular. We sure like it. Here's some one-handed filming. Got my uh, just uh, angled little tool here. And I'm just going to carefully get it under this front a little bit. And not really too hard. And oh, she comes. Down she drops. And then. Then this is an 8 mil, 8 millimeter. And this comes out pretty easy. One hand is not really super fun. And then it has a last little bit of re retention from the clip. You just kind of gently pull on it and it comes out. It'll go back in again. We need to get this panel off so we can drop the headliner down and the all the screws across the top here is what's holding on our third brake light little spoiler dealie. But over here, a lot of people are recommending that they you pull this pull this right off and loosen this whole area to get this off. And I don't recommend that. These are actually glued on at the factory, and there's a certain grade of glue in behind here. And uh, I'm, I'm just kind of loosening it like this. And, I'm, and this piece here, and this plastic, we're just going to try and get it straight out. <laughs> and pop it off. That came undone. All right. Just one more tab up here. We're going to carefully pry on. Well, that loosened up pretty good. We're just going to leave it down here like this. Carry on to the other side, and we'll be able to pull this down. So now we have the headliner loose on both sides, and there's two big honking clips right about here and here that have to be pulled straight down, straight down. So we're gonna get our hands up around and we're gonna feel for the base of a plastic thing and we're only gonna pull from the base of the plastic. We're not gonna do any pulling from the headliner or it'll crease it and won't be good. So gotta be fairly gentle with it and hope these creases pop out, but all our little bolts are back there. And here is the the brake light that we have to undo. And I'm able to get, I'm not even going to undo these clips. I'm able to get in here no problem at all and take apart all the uh, 10 mil. Um, there's nuts in the middle and there's two, there's four bolts on the outside, two on each side. And a 10 mil gets all of them. And I'm noticing that there's a sealant on the inside of them. So when we put them back together, they're definitely going to need a sealant. And here's that sealant I'm seeing clearly there is 
quite a bit of sealant on these guys. And the bolts that are in the corner, they look like that. So the two of these on each side and a whole bunch of these. And these look dry, but these guys definitely were sealed. All right, we got everything out on this side. Now it's time to take it off. All right, so it was really hanging on with this yellow clip and that yellow clip. Clip. Once the whole thing, everything was undone, it was really loose, but those guys were hanging on, and wow, did we have to yard it, and totally yarded it in this direction here. And more about these clips, they've got a rubber ring around them that these ones don't seem to have anymore, and these will come out pretty easy. And But if I was doing this again, what I would do is I would grab a set of long side cutters, and I would go in from the inside, and you'd be able to get a whole chunk of this, and I would have cut that off. And then this, this whole thing would have come off like nothing. And instead, we fought it off. And woo! We fought it off. And we actually did a little deformation here. This is an aluminum body truck. It used to be steel, now they're aluminum. And we got a little deformation when we pulled it out. And it really took a major yank. You could cut those off super easy. Buy this part number right here and put some new ones in. Which is what we're going to do. So here's the new one with a rubber ring. And here's the bag it came out of. If I can get out of the glare, you'll see that part number. And there's a new one in here. So we've done a huge caulk from one side to the other with a flexible sealant, because we figure this area in the middle is flexing. And when we're finished, we're actually gonna put a piece of tape over this seam to just not even have water run down here. That's pretty easy to do. So thinking about this a little more, I don't like the idea of all these holes through the roof. So I've put a good coating of silicone around them. Just hating all these holes in the roof. So I've put a whole bunch of silicone around to bed in all the bolts that hold this thing. And I'm going to silicone the other side as well. I really don't like holes in the roof of a vehicle. I'm not a fan. I'm putting some silicone on all the hardware on the inside. So there's, there's, four of these bolts, two on each side, and I'm just soaking the inside there. And here's a nut that doesn't have any on it, and here's where I soak it and then put it on the truck. I don't ever want to take this part again, and I hate leaks. Here's a look at this little piece while it's loose. Um, the tabs are on the top, and it's a pull tab from the bottom, and then the top unhook. So don't pry from the top, pry from the bottom, and it'll just drop out. So we've been inside and done up all those nuts and screws with sil coated in silicone they're all nice and tight put the headliner back in place and now i've got this 3m inch and a half tape and i'm going to do a seam all the way across i don't see why water should come down here this this tape is unreal it's like 60 bucks and that's it one big piece of vinyl tape across the top so next up we are going to deal with a squeaky window and we are going to use a dry water resistant silicone and we're going to do the tracks. Probably have to do them once every three months or so until this little squeaky window problem stops. Good times. <laughs> 